Hello everybody, today I will show you my team composition for the Shadow Dragon at difficulty 7. The reason why I'm not uh, doing it at any hard difficulty is that it start to become very difficult in terms of uh, surviving basically. And its HP after 7 increases by a lot for the dragon. Especially at difficulty, like the jump from 9 to 10 is a lot. So uh, I stabled myself uh, on the difficulty 7. What you want to keep out for in this team is that you want Fior to be faster, uh, the fastest unit in the team, and Rondo to be faster than Richard. And that's it. So over here in the equipment. Uh, I gave Rondo uh, his uh, weapon. I also gave him uh, his beer accessories. This is uh, Declan's uh, A4 and this is Gertrude's uh, A4. Just to make him faster than Richard. For Lynette, I gave her um, SP recovery. It does not really matter that much, but it is two free accessory slots, so I gave it uh, that. For Billy, I gave him um, Trisha's uh, special seasoning just for A2 uh, to have m uh, more sword damage and the HP of course for Billy. And then Kurt's signature badge uh, just to make his ultimate uh, a lot more effective. For Fior, I gave her uh, a mix of his beard and SP and uh, her fan and then gave her the highest speed that I could. Uh, you can uh, like take away one of those two for SP recovery, it does not really matter. For Ophelia, I uh, used it, uh, like a fortune step on her, just for the uh, stronger heals. And for, I gave her the Sir Noah's accessory, and I also gave her Morusso's A4. You can subsequent this by giving her one of the two accessories here but I did use uh, two gacha A4s in this clear for Richard I gave him uh, his sword and the accessories uh, that I gave him is uh, cigarettes uh, accessory and uh, glossoms accessory for A2 I gave her of course her dagger and I also gave her um, Uni's accessory and the Oblarix accessory. The Oblarix accessory is used for the 10% damage increase and make her like have 30% sword uh, with 10% uh, here, 10% here, and 50% from Richard. For Renew, uh, it does not really matter. I gave her uh, the Elisa Dietic shoes because I'm going to use the elemental counter from Pure more often than the, um, the physical attack one and I give a fuller gift uh, this is I believe uh, Camilla's uh, accessory so yeah this is the team composition entering the first fight the first fight does not really matter what happens you just want to, to use the prayer from Renew the healing from Ophelia and then just start uh, shaving up until they basically die. For heal, Lynette, it does not matter what I do here because I forgot to manage something, uh, the team po uh, positions, but it did not matter in this clear. As you can see, uh, they always do the same exact move, uh, turn one. So. Uh, somebody will take uh, a thunder hit and the entire front row will take a wind uh, hit So this is why we use Ophelia Even if Rondo takes a thunder hit he will survive and still heal uh, all of his HP because of Renew's prayer and her fortune stuff being uh, very good Here for turn 2 uh, the NPCs sometimes use physical attacks or uh, elemental attacks the elemental attacks are w way more scary than the physical attacks, so this is why I use the elemental uh, counter for Fior in the entire fight. But 
uh, I gave, made sure that Ophelia is faster than Renew so that EX Fior uh, takes the 30% uh, physical and magical defense up 15% from uh, Ophelia and 15% from Renew's prayer as you can clearly see uh, the NPCs uh, does not deal a lot of damage nor uh, have a lot of HP the normal NPCs outside of the dragon uh, itself do not get really uh, an increase in HP that much compared to their physical attacks but for the dragon itself the dragon gets increased in attack and uh, HP by a lot at uh, higher difficulties Entering the second fight Jerusalem is not a, a difficult fight whatsoever because he focuses on debuffing your team So you can take some time to recover your SP and uh, HP from the other uh, from the first fight Same like the first fight we want to also start the exact same for uh, Ophelia and Renew where we use uh, Renew's prayer and Ophelia's heal this gets EX Fior 30% uh, physical defense up automatically so she be, uh, will be able to tank uh, the physical attacks more easily turn 2 sometimes he does attack sometimes he doesn't but uh, it's generally not uh, scary if you do not uh, the elemental uh, block from Fior it's not really scary because if somebody does take a hit it's most likely they're gonna switch the, uh, the rows anyway so they will be able to recover all of that as you can see he does attack but it did not really matter at turn 3 you should start being uh, safe so start playing with the elemental uh, counter every turn generally you want to defeat him in uh, one break so I here ju I just basically go full break mode on him it does not really matter because he doesn't really have uh, a lot of HP increase uh, like the other NPCs here uh, I use the next ultimate or Rondo's ultimate so it does uh, a lot of damage while also shaving shields again it does not really matter what you do because uh, Rondo will just demolish uh, Truthan. He just doesn't stand any chance. One important detail that I, I want to point out is that if your EX Fior has not a lot of SP left, you can just not kill him in this turn and just uh, wait a bit. So he, she recovers at least uh, some SP. Here I did not kill him just to recover some of my SP for my A2 and Fjord basically. But if you chose to kill him in this turn and you are comfortable um, with killing him on, on this turn, so yeah, go for it. But for me, I'm just playing safe, so I would like to go the fight uh, with basically all of my SP and HP ready. All right, the main boss, the Shadow Dragon. The Shadow Dragon uh, starts uh, by closing his axe and bow weaknesses, which are not uh, found in this uh, clear. Basically, I exactly want to use the the same for Ophelia and Renew, but you want to use Berserk mode. 3 pp uh, i mean 2 pp on uh, a2 and then those strike on uh, richard just to inflict a f physical uh, attack down so fior can live uh, two uh, two hits from the uh, shadow dragon as you saw i took a hellfire but everybody was fine even renew the only thing that will make this fight um not stable is when uh, let's say 
the ruby, the shadow dragon decided to use the swept away on uh, Renew or EX Fuel or uh, turn one. Outside of that, uh, it's uh, pretty much a, a safe clear. As you saw, EX Fuel took only 900 damage from a swipe, so yeah. Also, turn two, Rondo was able to switch to the front row and also uh, received the buffs uh, from Richard. Now, uh, I also charge it uh, those uh, ultimate. Now, I will do the piercing strike from A2, just to inflict the physical defense down. And Rondo just to shape shields, and then Lynette just to buff and uh, make A2 and Rondo even more stronger. So, the turn after, we want to use uh, Billy's ultimate and Lynette's ultimate. Also, Rondo's ultimate to make him uh, regenerate PP every turn. And uh, the reason why I'm using uh, EX Pure Elemental counter is that the slipped away. If she hits her, uh, Renew's Prayer will de get disabled, so it will basically not uh, be very good for us. Rondo does crit and nearly does the damage cap, which is really insane. EX Pure, as you saw, did not get a sw uh, swap to the back row. She countered it. So yeah, this turn, we will actually use the physical counter because EX Fjord will not absolutely survive that. But generally, we want to reduce the shields of the dragon until 1. This turn, I would want to use 1 PP on Richard's uh, Rippling Slice just to charge his ultimate. I will also reapply uh, A2's uh, physical defense down because it will run out of turns and we want the physical defense down. The turn after this, we want to use Renew's uh, War Prayer to buff uh, the sword damage up in the active category. We did get swept away, but it does not matter. Here we want to use 3 PP on Trifold Slash from A2, then Richard's Ultimate and then Holy Impulse at max boost because Rondo has uh, the PP recovery on himself. A2 does very good DPS, same with Rondo, my favorite character. And then Richard, of course, we have all buffs, so of course it's gonna deal damage cap. And when you now increases our damage by a lot for Richard, especially because he doesn't have a lot of buffs. Here, this is why I made a EX Fuel the fastest, so she can apply 10% uh, more physical defense down and cap it. As you can see, A2 does a lot of damage, and then Rondo comes in with. A lot of damage too, and then Richard finish off the fight. Now, the Shadow Dragon has been defeated and consistently at difficulty 7. But, is it really worth it? I believe uh, at difficulty 7 and above, I think the Shadow Dragon stage uh, does give a good amount of uh, medals. If you are somebody that wants all 3 medals at the same time, then this board is very good for you. Will I be farming this stage? I will farm it, and a lot, because for me, uh, I'm at the point where I'm probably gonna only buy uh, the monthly items every single month, basically. So I hope this video was very good for you, and I hope you enjoy the future videos. So.